Hello, everyone. My name is Quentin Worm. I'm a technical specialist here at ATG. And today I'm going to show you how to turn your inventor assemblies into Revit families. All you need to do is have the inventor assembly you want to convert open. And then up in the top tabs, you'll go to the environments tab. And then in the begin panel, you'll go over to BIM content and you'll just click that and they'll open up this new ribbon for the BIM content. And I don't really like to mess anything here because it's just too much. So I'm just going to show you how to export it. And so all you do is go to the published panel and to export building components. You'll just click that. And I'll ask you if you want to shrink wrap your assembly, which these aren't that big, so I wouldn't recommend it. So I'll just click no. And so I'm just going to save this somewhere. I'm going to put for Revit. Yep, replace that. And this usually takes about 10 to 20 seconds. It's making a report that will show you how long it took to transition, how many faces, how many connectors you have, which I usually click no, but I'll just go ahead and click yes to show you. And all right, here it is. Tells you when you made it, where the file is located, the translation time, how long it took, the boundary box of your assembly, how many faces it has, connectors, properties, and parameters, which I don't really need any of this, so I don't really worry about it. And now that we have that saved, we will go to Revit, and we'll just go to the open command, and we'll locate where we saved it to, and mine's right here. And so we'll just click the file to open. And there you have it. It pops straight into your Revit families like nothing. We'll take a 3D look at it. And one of the things with inventor assemblies to Revit families is sometimes the Inventor creates harder geometry than Revit can handle. And so if I was to explode this, Revit will give me an error saying that we can't handle this 3D data. And so it just deletes it. And so I usually just leave it unexploded. That way, I don't have to worry about anything disappearing or whatnot. And then once you have it loaded in there, you can just start moving it wherever you want, creating parameters. So I'm just going to call one ceiling height. Make that an instance. Put that at 8 foot. Now I'm going to put a dimension from the reference line to the top of the ceiling fan. And we'll label that ceiling height. And there it changes it straight to 8 foot. So we'll load this into the Revit model. I'm going to place it right there in front of the section view. We'll go to the section. And you see I have my ceiling set at 9 foot. And so all I need to do is just come in here and change the instance parameter to nine foot. And there you have it. Inventor assembly to Revit family.